Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to simplify this expression by using long division. We're going to take the polynomial in the numerator and divide it by the polynomial in the denominator. But notice in the numerator, there's an x squared term missing, and in the denominator, there's an x to the first power missing. So when we set up the long division, we want to make sure we include those missing terms by putting a zero in front of them. All right, this is what we're going to do then. We're going to take 4x cubed plus 0x squared, that's the missing term, minus 3x plus 1, and we're going to divide it by the quantity x squared plus 0x, again, that's the missing term, plus 1. So now we tell ourselves x squared goes into 4x cubed how many times? And the best way to think about it is, what should I multiply this term by to get this? And the answer then would be 4x. So we write 4x because 4x times x squared gives us 4x cubed so that when we subtract this from that we get 0. That's the ultimate goal here. But then we also have to multiply the 4x by all these other terms. So 4x times 0x gives us plus 0x squared. 4x times 1 gives us plus 4x. Now we subtract this polynomial from this polynomial. This minus this gives us 0. This minus this gives us 0. And this subtract from that. So th minus 3x minus 4x gives us a minus 7x. Now notice, I'll go ahead and write 0x squared here to make it easier. The next step we do is we drop the next term down. So we drop this down, we write plus 1. And now we're going to divide this into here. Now notice that this is a 0x squared, so x squared goes into 0x squared 0 times, or you can ask yourself, what number times this gives us 0x squared? And of course the answer would be plus 0, because 0 times this will give us 0x squared, this times this gives us plus 0x, and this times this gives us plus 0. We really didn't have to do that, but just to see how that will work, subtracting this from that, we'll get minus 7x plus 1. So now we're basically done because we know that x squared no longer fits into a minus 7x. The smallest exponent we can have here is an x squared. We no longer have one. So we're basically done. The answer then would be that this cannot be written as, so 4x cubed minus 3x plus 1 divided by x squared plus 1 cannot be written as 4x. And the remainder is this divided by the denominator. So plus the quantity minus 7x plus 1 divided by the denominator x squared plus 1, which is the quotient or the result of dividing this into that numerator. And that's how that's done.